five, four, three, two, let's get it. Yeah! What's up guys, it's Team Popcorn Perspective here. I am here with my very good friend, Horsey Park Enthusiast. I always wanted to do, yes, <laughs> I always wanted to do this. Well, I like, and I don't think this has, has you ever been interviewed on YouTube? I don't think you have. Um, I don't, <clears throat> I don't think so, no. Yeah. I, this is, yeah, I think this is the first time. Yeah. I've, I've had, like, I've, I've done, like, collaborative live streams and stuff where people have asked me questions but yeah this is the first time you know i've been interviewed so huge shout out to theme park retrospective for doing that that's awesome i really yeah. appreciate it man you're awesome yeah and um so yeah once again this is my very good friend hoshi park enthusiast you probably know him as the hoshi park enthusiast or grant yeah but um so let's get into the questions so i didn't have to change screens i brought it up on my phone so the first question is what made you want to start youtube yeah, so I think for me, um, <clears throat> I was, I think for me, I was just really kind of, I was very, I'm, I've always just been really passionate about roller coasters. Like, even when I was scared to ride them, like, I would spend hours on, like, Ultimate Coaster making designs and stuff like that. Like, I knew I had a level of obsession. It was just a matter of getting over my fear of roller coasters. And the 2019 season was really when I was just like, okay, we're just gonna, we're just gonna go and just do all of them. And I was just amazed by like the end of that season and like early 2020, I was like a huge coaster enthusiast and it like almost happened overnight. And I knew like that was something that wasn't necessarily normal for everybody because I know like, you know, people are scared to ride roller coasters. They ride them and they're like, oh, that's awesome. But for me, it was something more than that. And it was something that really... I realized I had a special passion for roller coasters and especially for Hershey Park because that's the park I've just always <clears throat> grown up going to and you know cough, cough, Hershey Park that was really when I conquered my fear <laughs> yeah that was really when I conquered my fear of roller coasters so it has it has a special place for me and it just you know I love all the coasters there to death and yeah it I was just like it was one random day in November as the off season was kind of coming like as the off season was kind of coming up I was like I really don't want to have an off season. Like I want to keep going to the park. I know. I feel what, the what's same some way. way that I can almost make this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I was like thinking like, what's some way that I can make this feel longer? Like, what, how can I make the Hershey Park season still feel like the Hershey Park season even when it's off season? And I said, Alon, you know, I've seen other coaster YouTubers do channels and talk about parks. I wonder if I could do that, but dedicate a bunch of content to just one park, and that's kind of where we started and yeah we just kind of went from there and it's just been a blessing just how far you know the channel's been so thank you guys all for a watching this interview and for you know supporting the channel and again huge shout out to ian for hosting this he's awesome yeah um also uh, i'm also gonna mention your camera because i think i i did mention the grant i something was wrong with his camera i think i know what it is basically it works perfectly i'm not actually calling on my phone i'm calling on the like computer so I think the computer mm -hmm. has like crappy like Instagram Wi-Fi or Ethernet or whatever it's called. So like like is you know how calling on computers are way worse than actually calling on the phone, for whatever reason. For whatever reason, phones yeah, have better I, quality. I, I, so I'm using my um I'm using my iMac right now just because it has, like it's just in a better position. It kind of looks better with everything. But yeah. yeah, I think one reason the camera was a little bit fuzzy was because. Whenever I it's in low light, it you know it gets grainy. But just turn the backlight yeah. on; it's a little bit better. So yeah. yeah. Okay. The second question is: What is the hardest and easiest part of being a YouTuber? That's a good question. I'm trying to think here. The hardest part is probably dealing with um, like hate comments or people who aren't as Enthusiastic. I'll just say this in like lighter terms: who aren't as enthusiastic 
about what I do on the channel. Yeah. And that look that that happens for every channel. But, you know, for me, I just I very much like I have a I guess I guess you could kind of call it a flaw of like looking at people's comments, seriously considering what they have to say and like thinking kind of and reflecting on them myself, but that can also kind of be turned into like if somebody puts out a hate comment, then I start to be like, uh so that's something that's, you know, it, it's taken me a little bit, but now I'm at the spot where, like, if I see something, I can just, you know, push through. I'd say that's the second hardest part. I think the hardest part is just being able to cover everything. Yeah. Um, like, knowing there's an announcement, announcement cover. Wow, sorry. <laughs> knowing there's an announcement coming and just planning around, like, clearing my schedule and, like, how I'm going to be able to, you know, get back in the studio, get my mic and, you know, start rolling. Um, time sensitive stuff because I always want to be the first or one of the first person per, uh, people on you know the platform to be able to cover like a new ride like you know Wildcats Revenge. Um, so I'd say that's the biggest part is just and like it's kind of like it's stressful but it's also like it's so rewarding at the end of it and like it's fun and you know how like you kind of you get in this mind space of well it is a little bit like. I got to be there, do X, Y, Z thing at, you know, a certain time. And I have to make sure that I'm on something and cover it right away just so I can get you guys the news. It's also like when you just start sitting down talking about roller coasters, like it, even if I'm stressed, it still just, it makes me like, it makes me genuinely, genuinely happy. So yeah, I, that's been really good in that respect, but yeah. Yeah. I turned on my mic a bit. So, um, so you can probably hear me loud on clear off. I got. So, oh, you asked the easiest part. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I skipped, yeah, I skipped okay. part of the question. You asked it's the okay. I actually forgot about part. that myself. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah, I, I'd say the easiest part. Um. I, I wouldn't necessarily. Meet. I'd say like hosting meetups is not super challenging because you know it's just a lot of fun and like there's certain times where like if everybody's you know being like loud and enthusiastic I'll have to be like okay like we're a little bit loud right now but that's like completely okay yeah. um so just like I, keep, I have to keep order to some extent but like I'm never like quiet you know like I'm <laughs> never like indoor voices but like just because there's everybody there like um keeping order is sometimes a little bit but other than that meetups are pretty much like just like people show up you ride roller coasters and have a blast i would say one of the easiest parts though is probably recording for me personally yeah um or post-production like when i'm getting ready to post something on youtube and i'm doing like all the stuff behind the scenes with like the thumbnail the description yeah, because yeah. i can just like put on music and listen to music while i'm doing that and i work very well with music and yeah. i can't necessarily listen to music while i edit um but actually, that is something unique to what I do, because I know a lot of people add background music last. I actually add it first, because if I have a little bit of light background music while I'm editing, I actually edit a little bit better and a little bit more efficiently, just because I have something to kind of listen to besides my voice. Um, but I would say recording, just because, you know, it's me sitting down, and I can go for hours about one subject on roller coasters, which is why a lot of times, like, if I want to put out, like, a Wildcats Revenge video, the initial <clears throat> take of the, like the initial first recording in the video will be like 15 minutes just because I have so much I want to say about something, but I've, I have to trim it down a lot, but I think that's the easiest part for sure. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, what, oh wait, I was about to go to question four when it's really only question three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I, didn't, <clears throat> I didn't mean to double back there. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. No, cause, no, cause I was saying how, like I was about to go to question four when I was, I meant to go on question three. Okay, so what is your YouTube equipment? So I have the Shure SM7B microphone with some sort of audio interface. I forget the name to it. I think it's like the Focusrite Scarlet Solo, something like that. <clears throat> I, might, I might have that completely wrong. And then I have, I just got an iMac and a MacBook recently, and I, I saved up for those. Um, so, um... Yeah, I that's what I have, I guess. That's my primary equipment. When I go to the park to film, I have a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K, and I have a GoPro, too. Um, yeah, well, a lot has, of it's just he, been, like... He has a GoPro Hero 10, not a 2. He, has, he said he has a GoPro 2, not a GoPro, like, 
two, two. Did um, I say GoPro two? No, no. You said you meant to say. GoPro I'm so sorry. I meant yeah. a ten. Yeah, no. You, yeah, no. I don't know. What, wow. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's been it's been a day, but yeah. um, <clears throat> yeah. GoPro Hero ten, uh, and a lot of it has just been you know thanks to you guys, just like, you know, because my channel is monetized on YouTube. That gives me a great opportunity to be able to make a little bit of money and then also pour that back into the channel on like new equipment and make the content better. Yeah, also. So, sure, go for it. Okay. So, the next question Did you ever think of quitting YouTube but kept pushing yourself to do YouTube? Not saying I want you to quit, but you know what I mean. Yeah, definitely. There's definitely been a few times where I'm like, ooh. Uh, I remember, I think last January or February. Um, yeah, that was, off season is just really hard, um, because your views are essentially cut, like, in half, and it's just harder, you don't get as many views, you don't get as many regular people watching the live streams, it's just, so it feels like everything you've built up just kind of dials back and disappears, and you know, you have this hope, and you also, you, like, you kind of know in the back of your head, come April when Hershey Park opens back up, you know, the views are gonna come right back, and you're, you're gonna be, like, starting right where you were, but it's just a little bit, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't use the word scary, but it's a little bit, like, alarming when, like, you have everything and then it, like, dials back all of a sudden. Um, so, yeah, last year I was definitely struggling with some motivation to post, you know, and then I just realized, like, the reason I'm posting is not for views, it's just to provide people with fun content, and I feel like I'm still doing that even if the video isn't performing as well as I want it to, and that's kind of where I am at now. That was one time where I really wanted to, very early on when I had like uh, 10 subscribers, um, and I was just still kind of experimenting. I thought about like, okay, do I really want to keep doing this? And eventually I decided yes, and I'm so glad I did. Um, but yeah, like I'd say like week three of when I ever started the channel, I was like, okay, is this worth it for me to... Uh, so I, th I twice then, um, and I, I don't want to go into full details, but when I put out the Drop Tower video, um, I, I talked a little bit about this on stream. You can feel free to cut out as much of this or leave as much in as you want. But long story short, I made a very bad mistake in March of covering um, the Orlando Freefall drop, drop Tower incident. And my goal with that was just to share my, like, kind of just raise awareness for the subject and just share my thoughts on it because it was something that just really kind of hit me personally um because it was somebody fairly close to my age who had just wanted to ride an amusement ride and you know just yeah it was just a really sad story but essentially um unfortunately i made some mistakes and i the, this was not the intention but the thumbnail ended up looking kind of clickbaity and when you're when you're monetized you just kind of check off the monetization box it's just something like oh and you don't really think about it so I did that. So what it looked like was that I was just like clickbaiting something and getting money for somebody else's, you know, it, it was just, it was a very messy situation. And I just, that's one of my biggest regrets for sure. Um, I was able to thankfully donate the profits from that video to the, um, to a GoFundMe made for him. But anyway, long story short, it was, it was a very bad mistake. I felt awful. The video absolutely blew up. Uh, that was obviously not my concern. I just felt awful. Like it was a very rough weekend. I was a mess for that entire weekend. But that after that, I was like, how do I even go forward with this? Like I felt like I just wrecked my channel because I feel I felt for a while that everybody would just think that I was just kind of, you know, an idiot trying to get money off of somebody else's death, and that was not at all the goal the goal was just to raise awareness but i did make a mistake with that video and i do sincerely apologize again for that but that was probably the most recent scenario where i've been like eh, i don't know if i want to keep doing this but yeah but everyone is uh, glad pushing that, on is hard but everyone is glad that you kept pushing through yeah. doing youtube thanks I, I really appreciate that but yeah it's sometimes hard to find motivation but you know when you have a mm bunch of viewers who are just so just amazing supportive and just yeah you guys are true tr you guys are truly amazing and i'm, I'm so thankful for for all that I, wow <laughs> for all you guys but you guys are seriously amazing that's a lot of what keeps me going even when stuff gets hard so i, I really appreciate it yeah um that was a very long answer i'm sorry <laughs> that was actually but that's okay because because i i'll probably i'll probably like 
what I'm planning on doing is like basically doing like a short version of this and then doing a super cut where I do like the entire thing not not mm-hmm. like us like not cut it or whatever. Like I plan on doing a super mm-hmm. cut. Yeah, like, you can, like, yeah, a, that like good. a thirty minute video or something. So Sure. Yeah, go for okay. it. Yeah. So, um what wait. Yeah, what are your twenty twenty three goals with YouTube? I haven't honestly, last year I think I sat down and I had like the statistical analytical number kind of scheme in my head. Um, It was like, I guess halfway through December like or later December. I'm not quite there yet, so I haven't really had a lot of time to think about it. So this will just be stuff for me rattling off the top of my head. I would kind of like to, I, I know subscriber count i don't expect to go up as much this year when i started this year i had 2000 subscribers roughly and it and i have 10.6k now which is insane thank you guys so much um wow sorry i have something in my throat i don't know anyway feel free to cut that part out but it's okay (laughs) or leave it i don't really care if you leave it in but um yeah so because the hershey park fan base is smaller than the entire amusement scene as a whole I don't see the subscriber count going from 10k to like 50k, <clears throat> which is a, a kind of about the ratio where, yeah, that was like a that was about the ratio of change where we started, because I think I grew about five times from the start of this year to the end of this year. So if I grew the same amount, it would be 50k by the end of the year, and I just don't see that happening, simply because I feel like I've reached the majority of the Hershey Park community, and that's kind of capping out. I would like to, um, I want to hit, say subscriber count wise, I would like to hit around 15K. We'll see if that happens, but that's kind of, kind of my tentative goal. Maybe 20 for, if things are going really well, but I think 15 is kind of where it would meet its max. I really, um, one thing I do want to do is cover a little bit of stuff from some other parks too and get good views off of those because i know a lot of times if i switch up the content and talk about other parks that content doesn't do as well because people are like oh i don't want to listen to hershey park enthusiast talking about another park he probably doesn't know what he's talking you know like that kind of thing but i would watch it um thanks i I appreciate it but yeah i think a lot of people who didn't know me wouldn't which is why it doesn't do as well i think so i i want to i don't not focus but i would like to push out content regarding other parks and see how that does experiment a bit and I would really like to make a, another song and a music video that's actually good, as opposed to Stormwalker, which was not good. I, I would actually like to put on put out like a, 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 like a full production song, me making the beat, that kind of thing. That's kind of that's my I guess my biggest goal is to do that. Um, and yeah, just kind of take the year as it goes. And yeah, that's I guess that's my biggest thing. Yeah. And obviously cover Wildcats Revenge a lot because, you know, that's going to be exciting. Yeah, he has a problem, ladies and gentlemen. He has a problem with covering Wildcat. <laughs> yeah, like, if, if, there's a speck of, if there's a speck of dust on Wildcat... He's like, video now, video now. Mom, I need to make yeah. video. No, I just, like, I, I'm at, like, some... I'm in the middle of, like, a cross-country race, right? And I just, like, there's a new speck of dust on Wildcat. I just stop in my tracks, run backwards, <laughs> and, and <laughs> grab a microphone and cover it. Yeah. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. I have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, have you ever thought about having non Hershey Park meetups? Also, real quick, just you know, guys, I have suggested him for a while, but he like he doesn't know to be honest. <laughs> I think I think that's something I honestly have not put any thought into at all. Right now, I would say probably no, just because I think if I did anything, it'd be Knobles or Six Flags Great Adventure or something close. I just, I don't know how many people would show up if it wasn't at Hershey Park, if that makes sense. And the other thing is I don't have a car yet, so I'm not able to go to any park whenever I want to. So that's probably another issue. So just weighing the amount of people that would show up versus me not having a way to get there. 
so I honestly haven't really put a lot of thought into it. Um, but that is something I've definitely that I'll definitely consider going forward. Uh, definitely be something fun, you know, that'd be a good way to change yeah. up the pace a little bit. But yeah, yeah, that is a good suggestion. I'll, I'll definitely keep that in mind. Yeah. Um, wait, I always keep losing the track of what quest I'm on. I'm on. <laughs> Um, okay, You're good. I, I can't keep numbers straight myself. Yeah, this one. And finally, what's the craziest thing that happened at one of your meetups besides the one or incident? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Let me think. Um, that's a good question. I've had water dumped on me one or two times. You mean like fifty? No, I'm joking. I. <laughs> I have. I've had. I had somebody hand draw my logo. That was really cool. And okay. like, um, then she gave me the. Yeah, she she gave me like a drawing of my logo, which was really really cool. That's um, really nice. Trying to think, I've had, I think I've had. Um, trying to remember. Ah. Um. I mean, I've gotten Hershey Park specials at at least two meetups. Yeah, I did. Probably one, three. I did one while Mambo. <laughs> mm hmm. I. When we had Ronald, I remember I was, I'd like pass him down the, like, if there was say like maybe 20 people at the meetup, like in line, I would like pass it down the line. We filled a train on Wildcat. That was really fun. Oh, it wasn't? Like we, like wait, the entire that, train. Would that be like, um, the Wildcat yeah. meetup? That was the Wildcat meetup. The yeah. entire train was filled with like, you know, subscribers and viewers. That, that was awesome. That was a lot of fun. Um, so I'd say that was probably one of the craziest moments i mean i've had other crazy moments like getting stapled we got splashed for title force i got water dumped on my head um i remember great bear productions had like dipping dots or whatever and didn't want the rest of them so we gave the rest of them to me and like we were gonna get in line for wildcat and i'm like i don't want to carry these in line for wildcat so i just literally shoved half of the thing of dipping dots in my mouth and like just rolled with it so that was pretty crazy too <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of a lot of little smaller things that are crazy. Yeah. There's not necessarily one thing that was like, you know, I lost my phone on Skyrush. You know, because well, I wouldn't take my oh, phone oh, on oh, Skyrush. I was about to say, I'm like, you lost your phone on Skyrush, but because I didn't know you were just giving it no, 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 no. <laughs> but you actually did. <laughs> no, I, I don't. I don't take. I don't take my phone on coasters yeah. unless yeah. it's like a zippered up pocket, and yeah. you know. But yeah, but. Yeah, there's nothing that there's nothing been like that's been really really crazy. Um, oh wait, no 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 no. I think one person from like for some reason one person from my school was there when I was hosting a meetup, and it was just like really it was really awkward because like I was just there in front of somebody I knew in front of like all my viewers, so it's just like what. <laughs> it was just it was a very odd like couple seconds, but we moved on. So that was probably. Weird. I wouldn't say it's the craziest thing. Wait, I don't. What? I can't really choose a crazy, yeah. craziest thing. Which meetup was that at? I think that was during the Wildcat. Oh, during the Wildcat. I meetup? think it was during the Wildcat meetup by Skyrush. Oh. I don't. Know. Yeah. Wait. Now, if you'd ask me the craziest thing that happened at Hershey Park, I'd be able to tell you at least like two or three things that okay. were really okay. crazy. Okay. Okay. Question but... <laughs> eight. What What happened at Hershey Park to Gwen? Let's find out, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh no. Oh boy, I was really I shouldn't have I shouldn't have brought I shouldn't have I shouldn't have mentioned that. Well, you're I, stuck I in this cloud now, <laughs> Grand. You have to answer it. You're stuck. Oh boy. Oh, you guys probably have heard this story. Uh, well, I, we'll start off with a couple of little things. I lost my I lost my wallet. That was terrifying because I, I had my season pass and some money in it. Wait, did it? Wait, uh, I, I, I got it back. That but... time? Wasn't I there that time when you lost your wallet? I think you might have. I think I was. Um. 
I had a Rhydoc call me out on Wildcat. They were like, uh oh, troubles here. Oh, I uh, remember so that. Was that. Fun. No, it, wasn't that from the Wilding Wild Mouth 25 times in a day or something? No, that that was before um, the Wildcat meetup. Oh, okay. There's a lot of crazy times, too, too many to name, but I think the craziest time um, was either it's a two way tie between when we got the entirety. I don't mean like a couple people. I mean the entirety of the Stormrunner queue to saying never gonna give you up, because it was like a two hour wait. Because Stormrunner was one, running one train, one train. We were on the staircase, and I was just like, you know what? We're just gonna get everybody. We're just gonna rickroll the entire Stormrunner queue, queue, and we did. And everybody sang along. I mean, there's probably a couple people that didn't, but like a majority of people sang, and it was crazy. It was amazing. But uh, that was probably like the second craziest. The craziest was when I was in seventh grade, and there was this one ride up that my friends and I, like, she was nice, and we were talking to her or whatever, and I, I probably liked her back then in seventh grade. I don't know. I was, you know, who knows middle school me. But, like, her name was Anna, right? And you guys, if you've been on stream, you probably know this question, but if you're just, like, a regular viewer of the channel, you probably don't, or you pro probably know this story. Um. So we saw her at Fahrenheit, or actually, no, I just saw her at Fahrenheit. I wasn't even with my friends, so I didn't even have any, like, emotional support. This traumatic experience just happened to just me and everybody in the Fahrenheit station. So Anna was there, and I was like, hi, Anna, and I was waving, and she was looking at me. She was like, oh, boy, what is a seventh grader doing here, <laughs> you know, again? Um, <laughs> but I was like, hi, Anna, and there was, like, the turn, you know, the turnstiles, you go out, you know, you so you have your, you know, you have the cubbies for your stuff. You grab your stuff. You go out the turnstiles and then down the down the ramp, you know, and exit Fahrenheit. But I was like, you know what? Anna's looking at me. I feel good right now. I'm gonna hop over the turnstiles. Oh, oh yeah, no. like I'm I'm gonna be that cool kid who hops over the turnstiles. What could go wrong? Well, I'll tell you what went wrong. I literally jumped over, slammed my crotch on the turnstile, and like flipped over on the ground. Anna, <laughs> she literally retreated to the ride-up panel and, like, fell to the ground laughing. The entire station was looking at me laughing. And this was before I even had a channel, so I, 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 was, I was completely socially awkward then, even before, even though I was yelling, hi, Anna. But, like, I, I had, like, no experience with, like, a lot of people looking at me and stuff. Um, so it was super awkward, and I couldn't even be like, subscribe to my, because it didn't exist yet. So it was, oh my word, it was just so awkward. And I was just like, the worst thing is like, there was like a couple girls my age that were just looking at me, dying out laughing, like, are you okay? I'm like, physically no, but mentally even more no. It was, it was just, oh, it was a really embarrassing. It's funny now, but it was a really embarrassing experience. But yeah, that's probably the craziest thing that's happened so far. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Probably that, that, gone that, that must have hauled. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it did. Yeah, no kidding. Honestly, my ego hurt. My ego... I, I, I didn't even have an ego, but, like, my ego hurt more than anything, I think. <laughs> like, I was just so humiliated. Yeah. Like, I was gonna hop in line for Stormrunner, but I just, I couldn't even do that. I was just like, oh, this is just too embarrassing right now. <laughs> but, anyway. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, um... So those are the end of the questions, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is this it has been Theme Park Perspective and Horsey Park Enthusiast. I'll see you guys later. Peace.